Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to use object displays from the standard library, as well as adding dynamization with the help of Quick Dynamics. For the first step, add a new test display. Therefore, navigate to Server, My Server, Displays and right-click on Main. Select Add Display from the context menu. After you gave the display a name, confirm your input with OK. You will see the new display when you expand the folder main. Open the display in the graphic editor with a double click. Search the library for the bar graph. Horizontal or vertical, it's your choice. Drag and drop the object display into the display area. Now search the library for the rocker switch. Again, it's your choice whether you pick the wider or slimmer version. Drag and drop it into the display area as well. To zoom the inserted items, you can either use one of the zooming tools from the toolbar or just use your mouse wheel while the cursor is inside the drawing area. Every object display has its adjustable parameters that can be edited to fit your needs. Select the rocker switch and expand the parameters in the attribute area. Set the step to increment and decrement to the value 5. Expand options and set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 100. Now select the bar graph. Enter engine 1 for the label value. Set RPM as unit. Minimum and maximum remain unchanged. To give both object displays the same base to read and write values, you have to create a node. Right-click objects in the project tree and choose add node, data variable, in 32. Name it engine 1. After confirming your input, expand objects to see your new node. Now you have to subscribe each object display to the same base node. To do so, select both elements. You can now set the base address for both object displays at the same time. Click the empty value input field beside the base parameter and then the button with the three dots on it. Select the node you created before and click OK. Now hit the Enter key to confirm the value change. Please save the display. To show the display you just created within the visualization, please navigate to Guided Actions, Open Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1 in the Advice Builder menu. Now hover the folder symbol and choose your test display from the list. You can now change the node's value within the minimum and maximum values by using the rocker switch. Switch back to the Advice Builder. Now create a custom stop button that resets the value to zero. First you need a graphic element. To set the element's path points precisely, activate Show Grid and Snap to Grid in the toolbar. Select the Polygon tool from the toolbox and draw the shape of a stop sign. The last path point has to be set with a double click to exit the edit mode. In the editor's attribute bar, you can set the fill color to red and the stroke color to black. A simple way to add dynamics to this element is adding a quick dynamic to it. To do so, choose Quick Dynamics, Set Node. Choose the node to be set the same way you did before. Enter 0 as value to be set. Confirm the configuration with OK. The dynamization is added to the dynamics area. Save the display and switch to the visualization. After a refresh, you can reset the value by using your new control element. Very well done! You've created your own control element and added dynamization to it. Now you also know how to parameterize standard object displays and how to create nodes.